In this video, I will show you how you can change the individual wall height on a wall in a room. So let's go ahead and draw our room there. And to do this, let's go ahead and take a look at the perspective. To do this, well, too much there. To do this, the only way I know how to do it is to click on the wall, and you can do this either here or here. Let's click on this wall here. And then we got to change this to a railing. And then we can come in here, and I don't know how to get rid of the top board. Uh, I thought you could check these off, but that didn't work. Um, and you can see here where the height is 36 inches. Let's change it to um, 60 inches. Push OK. Go back to our view area. Spin this thing around. I didn't mark off solid. Let's go back to click on this. Solid. OK. And there's our wall. That is the only way I know how to lower the walls and adjust them in this program. Someone had a question about that. So if that works, um, feel free to let me know. Um, let me just throw one more thing in, in the wall section if you're drawing something. You can always use the half wall here. So let's draw a large wall back to here. Um, let's just erase everything, delete. And we will draw two walls like this. And then I'm going to come in and get the half wall. And I'm going to draw a half wall. Uh, messed up there. Half wall. And then this, of course, will give you the same thing if you're drawing it. You can use these walls here. And again, I'm not an expert with this program. I know how to use it. And I know how to find information on it. You know, this is an exterior wall. I need to change it. Let's go to wall types. We'll change it to an exterior wall. And then take a look at it. Did I change the right wall? Uh-oh, I don't think I changed the right wall. Come into here. Um, wall types. Interior. And I changed it to an interior. Siding. Needed to be siding. Take a look at it. And that's how you can change the walls. The only problem I have with this, and I did some research before I made the video, so I, I kind of goofed around with this thing. I just couldn't figure out how to get rid of this. Because the minute in this right here, you can see where on the top, this has kind of a different um, kind of a wall framing plate, where this is actually using a finished... This one here is using a kind of like a handrail cap. So and I do know, I do know, I goofed around with it enough that if I change this and I go back and I come in here and I just get rid of this, and I, I'm, it's not a railing anymore, um, then it turns it into a full height wall. So that was something that I, I did figure out there. So if I do that, and then again, I want to change this. I just click on it, go in, railing, come into the newels, change it to the height. If I want it to be a one foot wall, 12 inches, okay, there we are. So that's it for the video. Um, hit the thumbs up button if it was helpful, if you learned something. And uh, any questions, feel free to leave them. This was the response. I made a video before this about raising the walls and um, lowering the walls. Of course, you just click on the floor here to raise the walls, go into structure. You can change your ceiling height and your floor height here. So if I wanted, for example, to have a floor a little lower, I just make this a negative number. So let's go with a negative 12. Okay, my floor just went down 12 inches. So even though that wasn't part of the video, just thought I would throw that in there. And that is it. That wraps up this video. Any questions?
comments, leave them in the comment area and I'll answer them as soon as possible.